Well, switching gears now to Halloween activities here in the city. Our Cam Jandro was out there catching up with trick or treaters as they collected candy in Worcester. Happy Halloween, Anna. It's a bit cold outside, but that didn't stop anybody from going out and enjoying festivities tonight. I caught up with a few trick or treaters who are out celebrating the scariest night of the year. A bright moon lights the way as trick or treaters hit the streets in Worcester Tuesday. A skeleton, witch, and zombie work their way through neighborhoods hunting for candy. For one older trick-or-treater, Halloween never gets old. I am not like ashamed to say that I still trick-or-treat because look, dressing up and doing makeup is so fun and it's an art form, so why stop at age 20? <laughs> This Halloween lover we caught up with might not trick or treat anymore, but still walks the street in costume. He says it's important to be safe, but he just loves the thrill. It's fun to make kids scream, have a good time with my family. You just take your time, make sure no one gets hurt. Temperatures were in the mid to upper 40s during prime trick or treat hours. But some of the monsters we caught up with say they didn't mind the cold weather because they had only one thing on their mind. On uh, Halloween, I like to get candy. <laughs> on Halloween, I like um, to walk around and get the candy too. If I can play pretend for as long as I want and I get together with friends and get free candy, which is probably one of the best parts. And now we saw some absolutely fantastic costumes throughout the evening. We even saw all the characters from The Wizard of Oz. It's a shame we have to wait 364 more days until the next Halloween. Anna, I'll send it back to you in the studio. I know you'll be counting down, Cam.